News from around the region and from around the state, this is a Florida Focus News Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Jasmine Thomas. 1.6 million Floridians could be eligible for federal health insurance tax credits. A new study ranks Florida third for having the most residents that could qualify for subsidies. The tax credits are designed to help low and moderate income individuals buy insurance. Those earning 100 to 400 percent of the federal poverty level meet the criteria for tax credits. A teacher is suspended for trying to force a fourth grader to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. The Hernando County teacher took the hand of a Jehovah's Witness student and tried to force him to say the pledge. The student's religion forbids worshiping objects. The teacher is suspended for five days without pay and must take diversity training. Three Hillsborough County animal shelter workers are on leave after a mistaken euthanasia incident. The workers accidentally euthanized a dog that was supposed to be adopted later that day. Details will not be disclosed until the investigation is completed. A new transitional facility in Tampa will provide residents with more than a place to stay. Miracle Place houses more than 52 families thanks to Metropolitan Ministries. Along with individual apartments, members have access to preschool programs, self-improvement classes, and a dining space. Additional services include GED classes and job training. Winter the Dolphin is getting a new home. Clearwater voters said yes to a proposal to build a world-class aquarium. The city is leasing the property of Clearwater City Hall to the aquarium. The new aquarium will be 200,000 square feet and will cost $160 million. That's all we have for Florida Focus this evening. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.